Hey guys, what's up? It is your boy Melindo. Welcome back to another video. I am just simply going to get straight into it. This video is just me giving it my best shot to give you a word of encouragement. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how young or old you are, right? Anything which I'm about to say, it's all going to relate to life itself. And life isn't something which just old people go through. Life isn't something which just young people go through, right? We all have to go through it. And life, it's not an easy thing. It's not gonna be an easy thing all the time. There's moments where we're gonna have to go through pain, struggle, doubt. And of course, we also have our moments of blessings. Those are the days which you always have to count the most, the moments of blessings. If you spend your entire life locked in on the things which you don't have, locked in on the things that you wish you had, locked in on the places where you wish you could be, you're never gonna find yourself being thankful for the things you have. You're never gonna find yourself being thankful for the people you have. You're not gonna be thankful for the clothes on your body, for the roof that's over your head. You're not gonna be thankful for having breath itself, literal life itself. You're not gonna be thankful for that if you're only focusing on what you don't have. You gotta count your blessings. You gotta count your blessings. Just me being able to speak to you on the other side of the screen, that alone is a blessing, not just to you, but also to me, because I actually find encouragement from helping other people. So if I'm able to help you one way or another, that's gonna be a blessing for me. Let's get into some of my favorite things that I like to say to people, especially my own friends around my age, um, who they sometimes just go through, you know, things. And there are moments where they feel like giving up. There's moments where they feel like committing suicide. There's moments where they feel like just, you know, letting everything go, right? Something I always have to tell them is that God has to break you down before he can build you up into something great. I always tell them as well, the harder the struggles here on earth, the bigger the blessings up in heaven. Something we all need to understand is that experience is the best teacher. If we don't live it, we're not going to learn it. We have to go through the pain before we can have a moment of gain. Look, when you go through the challenges, through the struggle, through the financial issues, through your loss of job, through this relationship that didn't work out, every single thing which we go through in life, every single sort of challenge, I simply say it's all part of a testimony. That's literally what I say. It's all part of a testimony. God is using you to go through it, right? God would never have made you go through it if he knew you wouldn't be able to handle it. And I'm gonna look at you guys straight in the camera when I say this. God does not choose the prepared, but he prepares the chosen. God does not choose the prepared, but he prepares the chosen. He will equip you with all that he knows that you need to make it through every single trial, tribulation, spiritual warfare in this life. He will equip you with all that you need. You see, when God is testing you, all of this is really a test of trust. Seriously, worship, praise, giving glory to God on a whole, it's more than just a feeling, all right? It's all about trust in the Lord. It's about having trust in God, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for you, that when you repent and when you genuinely believe that you can be saved, you will be saved. It takes building up a real genuine relationship with him, right? For you to reach that moment of being saved, for you to have your moment of salvation. It takes having a relationship with God. And all that happens in this life of yours, you gotta remember, it's all God's plan. Everything that happens here on earth must be approved by God first. 
Everything that happens here on earth, everything that happens to you, everything that happens to you, it must be approved by God first before it does. All right, like I said, God would not have placed it on you if you knew you couldn't handle it. If you are like me, a kid with so many responsibilities, barely having any time with himself to just be a kid. I remember when I was literally today, I just got back from work, right? I'd already missed something which I was supposed to be doing somewhere else at my church because I had work. And when I get here now at my house, all of my friends, they see me and they're like, Lexi, can you come play football with us? I'm all like, I just had to be straight up with them and just tell them, no, I can't. Now that I just got back home, I need to read my Bible. And as soon as I finish reading my Bible, then maybe I can come out. But no, instead, I am here trying to just really touch somebody's heart, trying to really get them to open up um, to God, you know, about their feelings, about about just life, right? And me, I, I'm, I'm going to be having to leave my house um, on Saturday, right? Because of this church camp, which I'm going to. I don't have everything packed yet. Tomorrow, I have to leave in the morning. And I'm not going to get back home until evening time. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to be in charge of something, right? Tomorrow at the place where I'm going up to my church. And, you know, it's, it's a bunch of details which I don't need to get into, all right? But the point is, I'm still here. I'm still alive. And I'm still grateful. So, it all comes down to me being able to just be a real life experience that God would not have placed this mantle on you if you know, if he knew you could not handle the weight. If he knew you could not handle the weight of this mantle, he would not have given it to you. So I want you to understand that if you are someone who's just going through it. I don't even need to explain what that it is. You know it. I need you to understand that God is doing this to you for a reason. It is for a purpose. He's trying to open your eyes to something. He needs to use you. He needs to use you as an example to other people so that they can be inspired by how you display yourself as a person. But you as that person is gonna be the example for others. You have to be willing. You have to be willing to show that all of your strength, all of this sudden perseverance which you get, this kick which you get to keep on pushing and pushing and pushing, it comes from the power of God, all right? Like me, if I did not have my Lord Jesus Christ with me through this life, I would not have made it this far as I as I have already. I would not have been the leader I as I am. I would not have been the example which I have been to other people if it wasn't for God. All right, there are moments where I'm right there on the ground, off my room, on my knees, crying out to God. All right, and I'm just asking Him, take this burden, take this burden, take this burden. Just intervene in every situation. But one thing I know that at the end of the day, even though I have been chosen to take on this mantle, and even though there are moments where I wish I did not have this mantle, I still know that God had set me with this mantle because he knows it's what's best for me and because he knows that I'm the only one who can live through such a mantle. Obviously, there are people who may go through more. I'm not saying that like I go through everything in life and have experienced all of this, experienced all of that. I still have so many more years to go, right? Until I've finally fulfilled the life that I have, that I will fulfill, okay? So, um, again, if, you're somebody young like me, so you don't need to overthink about what you're gonna be doing with your life as long as you have already fully grounded your life in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, okay? 
from when you put your trust in him, he'll just take care of everything else. Just take on life one day at a time, all right? Learn to follow, listen to his will, discern the voice of God. That's a really important thing. Discernment. Discern the voice of God. Know and understand when it's God speaking to you and not temptation. Know and understand when it's God speaking to you and not some demon which is working within your friend or within one of your family members or within one of your co-workers or within just some random person who starts talking to you. Know and understand the voice of God for yourself. All right? Talk to him, pray to him, and just start getting yourself to really feel the Holy Spirit working within you. You're, you're going to need to put in some of the effort for this. All right? God's going to need your help to really get you into that stage in your spiritual life where you can just put every single matter in his hands and be fully assured that God will work it out. And I think that's enough of a message for me to have given you, okay? My camera keeps on tripping out because of how overheated this thing is getting. So I really hope I was able to inspire one of you, at least one of you watching this video. Because if I have, then I know that this video would have been worth it because I would have been able to help the life of at least one person. All right, and that's why I try to do at least one day at a time. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you'd like. It is your choice, nobody's forcing you. But more importantly, don't forget to smile and never forget that I love you guys, but more importantly, that Jesus loves you. Until next time.